Today we're opening up the Pretty Paper subscription box, which is really more like a subscription envelope for $30 plus $8 for shipping. So stick around, let's find out what's inside this envelope and if it was worth it. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings like today on Saturdays. All right, you have two choices when you subscribe to Pretty Paper and the first one is the deluxe for 30 and that comes with an assortment of accessories plus one set of personalized stationery versus the custom box with which only comes with a handful of accessories. Now there was no tax charge, but shipping was $8. So this was $38 for this deluxe envelope. So let's check out what's inside. The envelope does come with a sticker of their logo over here. Now I felt like this thing took forever. If you order by the 14th, it ships out supposedly on or around the 20th and it shipped out on the 23rd. And then it took another week to get here. But it looks like it was sent out USPS first class so maybe that's just how long it takes. All right, inside, I'll just take everything out because it's not like a box. Uh, it looks like we have some paper clay clips, or what are these? No, we have clothes pins. So these are gray and pink, which actually are my branding colors. There's a pen that says Pretty Paper Club, but there's nothing special. It's just kind of a cheap plastic pen. This says Shine Bright P2. And it's a clipboard that says shine bright underneath and has some paper inside of it. Now this must be the personalization. So it does say pretty fabulous here at the top. Um, unfortunately, these are actually nothing that I would use are my style. These look more like clip art. Um, let's check out and they have matching clip art <laughs> envelopes, which I guess this is in time for Mother's Day business card and some more personalization so this says pretty fabulous again with the clip out art flowers i don't know if this is just for this month or every month has these clip art flowers and these look like just little pieces of cardboard paper um, with their logo on the back that someone just kind of cut and over here it says another again more happy mother's day stuff so some of the clip art with a some, I think these are stickers. Yeah, these are stickers. And BFF Julie said a note is not complete until you add confetti. Now I do actually love these. I love when envelopes have those little confetti inside and you pull those out. My friend Kathleen actually does that all the time. It came with some envelopes. So these are kind of thin. So the only problem with the envelopes is I do calligraphy, as you know, and if they're too thin, the ink bleeds. So it doesn't set very well, but that's probably, this is okay. Probably if you put a sticker on here or if you do hand lettering, um, they have some cards again, they do say pretty fabulous, which I like that it's custom. That's very cool. But again, I'm sound like a big Debbie Towner just because I just hate clip art. Another business card, another, a second happy Mother's Day card, I guess in case you have two mothers, which again is normal, right? Everyone has stepmoms or whatever. And a note from them, which is my normal from me, to me, from me, because I love me. Sticky notes. Aw, there's a little dog. <laughs> so let's check these out. And these have a flamingo and a pineapple, which I think you guys all know. Pineapples are like my biggest pet peeve. I can't stand pineapples. I can't wait till that trend sort of fades out. Um, but these are little post-its over here. Flamingos remind me of Florida. These are cute with the little gold bows. I actually like that. And I do love this middle one, which has little hearts on it. I don't know if you can see that, they're mint. And the last one is the same thing as this, but it's just in mint color. All right, the last thing is, it looks like labels. 
and none of these labels are personalized. These must just be accessories. Um, again, this design is not really my style. Um, and you get, it looks like you get two of everything. Little wine things. Again, that flower clip art. <laughs> More flowery clip art. And a wine, or twine to wrap your gift in. And then some postcards with more of that clip art stuff. Um, you get two of everything. And then with their logo on the other side. And these are pretty small. There's the size of my hand and that's the size of the, of the postcards. So this was actually a ton of stuff. So I for sure think it was worth the $30. And I love that everything was personalized. And I take back what I said about the pen because it's actually very cute. It writes in pink. So I don't know if you can see that. It is a pink uh, pen and pink ink, which usually you don't find in a ballpoint. So my only gripes with the box are this is not my style at all and the previous styles on Crate Joy had totally different looks and feels to them. I don't like the clip art as I've mentioned probably too many, probably a gazillion times. And the cards, even though they are personalized, they are totally uneven. So I don't know if you can see that, but they're all different sizes. It looks like someone actually cut these by hand. And same thing with these little cards. Now the other downside too is that they have put their URL all over everything, which I think kind of defeats the point of having a personalized card because why not put my URL instead of your own? So basically you've given me material to help advertise your business. Great. Comment below and let me know what you thought and if I was a little too harsh in my judgment. And I will see you guys next week for another unboxing.